Hey collectors, Anthony from HashageNet here, and uh, today we're going to follow up on my um, Armada Megatron video with uh, combination with Tidal Wave. I was always curious, is there a mode where he combines in tank mode, and I, and I figured it out. So we're gonna do this, and th and then we'll get to the you know the expected burning Megatron mode. But uh, first things first, you take apart this, and I already pulled out the tag, uh, the little um pegs uh a couple of these two guys the pegs are a pain in the butt to pull out but uh yeah so essentially we were going to use the slots on the back here of megatron and just plug those pegs in and uh do it on both sides and uh and fold the wings down kind of like this and so far so good and uh so we have that um, depending on how you want to adjust it, um, probably, I wish that the pegs had a little bit more strength, but, uh, you know, that works. And then we take, uh, this piece here and we we'll just attach it, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, we can do it on this side here. And, uh, again, just a peg, and these are the pegs that are just a pain in the butt. Actually, before I do that, let's do this one, because yeah, this one is, uh, on that side, so we'll do that, and then... We'll do this one. There we go. Oh, it collapsed. And it's going to keep collapsing. Here we go. Okay, there we go. This up, this up. And uh, here we go. <laughs> this is the, probably the dumbest thing ever, but you can uh, connect them. I was like, could I connect them on the sides here to give him a slightly different look? And let's see, I think this is where I switched them position-wise. Um, could I? And let's see. I think this peg is, uh, it might be too low, but we'll stick it in there. Yeah, see, it's too low. And then what about uh, on this side? There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Doesn't look right at all. Uh, <laughs> looks less helpful. Although I kind of dig the wings on the back, though. That is uh, spectacular looking to me. Uh, it's just too bad these don't lock in, because if they could lock in, you can lay these down like this. It look like he'd have a flight, flying tank mode, you know? But uh, yeah, not, a, not a thing he has. So let's reset and get him into bot mode, and we'll see what he looks like when uh, attached correctly. And here we are with Megatron in bot mode, and we have the individual pieces. So on top of this guy here is the feet pieces, and they are actually stored in the shins of each leg. And uh, because of the pegs underneath, they you can put them on here. Also, they have the, the five millimeter pegs that you can just pretty much put anywhere else. I don't know where exactly, would it fit here? No, those are screw holes. I guess I wouldn't fit there. But um, also pull out these pegs and um, do it on all of them like these are on ratchets that are super pain in the butt for me oh this one's a little bit easier if you want to see the individual conversions uh basically the unboxing of tidal wave or megatron the links are in the description so we have these all basically separated from the titan itself and uh, we're going to now convert them um so for the backpack, you need to pull out these pieces and then get this little nice cutout so you can uh, take it apart there. And then there's a something like this here. And then, of course, make sure these are out. I've knocked it back in. There you go. And if we do a bit of conversion here, we can fit this all together. So the first thing first is we're going to move the arms out of the way. And we are going to lower the backpack like this. And we're going to turn the bottom here, the middle piece. If we can do it without moving the legs, hey, bonus. But now he has a, a four pack on the back. Okay, so we've done this. We can tweak these however we want. And um, we can lower the arms back. And uh, what I'll do is attach this to here. And uh, I kind of wish the shoulders locked in, but what are we going to do, you know? Um, and now we're going to attach this piece here now that we've converted it. 
and uh, you see there's pegs that go into each part here they're even um, mismatched location wise uh, because of the different uh, pieces and how they go in and the plus side it kind of locks in the shoulders so that's great it just doesn't do the best job so get his to stand up here so here's what the backpack looks like assembled decent enough so then we can attach the feet uh, the feet don't look like they have any specific way to fit the back piece uh, the heels go into each slot so yeah it looks like it's pretty much universal so it doesn't really matter and I have a feeling when I go to put it away it's not gonna matter which shin I stick it inside but uh, now he's a little bit taller okay and then uh, as I had mentioned I pulled the pegs out because they're a pain in the butt you can stick them on here and on here and with the backpack attached it's fairly stable but it's not you know super great I mean I mean this guy got some mass and he feels heavy uh, but uh, this is what he looks like when everything is attached so I thought maybe because I swore when you watching the cartoon he could move his lower arms here but these pieces are too heavy for him to do in the lower arms and I'm concerned about it being on here because this piece you know does this but uh, this is the correct placement for him and uh, yeah he looks pretty good I, I, I get it I get what was going on here it's very nice and uh, yeah just very chunky the backpack just really adds a lot of stability and that is a uh, burning Megatron with that said tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items did you get them and how was your experience with them thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe